Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about food. I'm gonna be sharing my weekly food prep routine. I'm on week four of implementing this routine into my weekly routine, and this has just been a game changer for me. All of this healthy food is easily accessible, which helps me make better choices throughout the week. I eat out less, I spend less money, and I'm just a little bit more prepared when it comes to meal time for myself and my daughter. So in today's video, I'm gonna share what I'm prepping for this week's worth of foods. I have a couple different recipes to share. Everything's super simple and easy, and I think you guys are just going to love it. Everything was so delicious, and I'm so excited to share all these foods with you, so let's go ahead and jump on into the video. First things first, I ran to the grocery store. This is kind of what I do every Sunday. It's part of my weekly routine is I go to the grocery store on Sunday. Trader Joe's is always my go-to, number one, because it's a very close grocery store to me, and number two, because I just love the products that they have there. Anyways, once I got home, I thought I'd share what I'm actually cooking for you guys today and prepping. So I have my fruits and veggies I'm gonna prep, baked sweet potato, cauliflower bowls, oatmeal balls, cucumber salad, and chia pudding. Most of my inspiration for meals comes from Pinterest, so I try to get on Pinterest a couple times throughout the week, and then towards the end of the week, I kind of nail down what I'm gonna cook for the next week. First things first, today I'm gonna go ahead and get my oven preheated to 375. I need to get my sweet potatoes in there because they take about an hour to cook. So I'm gonna get that started, and here are all the vegetables and produce. Um, all the fruit, that kind of stuff that I bought at Trader Joe's today. So I need to get all of this washed. Uh, these things are so good, by the way, these cherry plums. They're so delicious. And yeah, I have some basil, apples, uh, peppers. So I am going to get all of this stuff washed. Um, this new strainer I got, by the way, is awesome. I got it at, at home and it just sits right on top of my sink. I don't know if I'll be able to link the exact one from at home, but I will try to find something similar. So if you guys see anything in this video, just check the links down below. This fruit and vegetable wash from Trader Joe's I've talked about so many times, but it's so good. I love, love, love using this to help um, my produce get cleaned. You just add a couple drops to a bowl of water and wash your veggies and then strain and rinse them. It's non-toxic and formulated to remove waxes, pesticides, and chemicals. week my produce is a little bit different just depending on what's in season but washing my produce immediately when I get it and um, just getting it like cut up or cleaned and ready to go or something like that it just makes it so much easier throughout the week to eat um, to prep for my daughter's food and I feel like it makes it last longer once I get it out of those containers and washed and stored properly my produce just tends to last a lot longer so I have these really nice produce containers from OXO. I also have some from Target as well that I recently just got, but these are the OXO ones and they are awesome. They are designed for produce, so it helps keep your produce stay fresh longer. This is the large size, but they have a couple of other sizes too. These are the containers that I just got from Target. Uh, I've never seen these there before. I think they're by Rubbermaid, but they're also designed for produce, and they were actually a lot uh, less expensive than the OXO ones. So I just got them. I don't know how they work yet, but they seem to be really good, and I'm excited to find some more sizes and styles. So I'll leave links to both of these, the OXO and the Rubbermaid containers, down below in the description box. What I have put you through. Still have you on my mind. My focus been drifting away from you Just wasn't our time, our time You can say, you can say what you want But I know you hurt at night But I tried and I tried and I tried to hold you tight So I'm here tonight And I'm giving us one last chance Cause I don't want
definitely time consuming but it seriously makes a huge difference if you clean your produce ahead of time but I have everything cleaned now I have apples for my daughter I have fresh basil it smells so good by the way um, I have a cucumber that I'm gonna cut up here in a second some carrots I have some tomatoes for something that I'm making you guys will see here in a second um, some of these cherry plum things which are amazing um, and then a bunch of strawberries. It's my daughter's favorite food. I have these little mini peppers, some cauliflower for a recipe coming soon, and then my sweet potatoes all ready to go to be baked. I wanted to get my sweet potatoes in the oven as soon as possible, so that's actually what I'm gonna do first. Also, I am going to leave out all of my produce because I feel like the key to keeping your produce um, like having it stay fresh longer is to get it washed really good, store it correctly, but before you put it in the fridge to let it dry off to make sure there's not any extra moisture there that could rot your produce. So that has been something that has helped a lot too to keep my produce fresh throughout the week is just making sure it's completely dried off before I actually store it in the fridge. Anyways, to bake my sweet potatoes, all I'm gonna do is add them to a lined pan. I pierced them a couple of times with a knife and I'm going to cook those for an hour at 375. So very, very simple. I don't season them or anything. That is all I do. I also wanna get my cauliflower in the oven because it needs to cook as well. So I went ahead and got this chopped up and put on a pan. I have an actual recipe that I'm following for this um, like cauliflower bowl that I'm making. So I'll leave a link to the recipe down below. This turned out so good. You guys have to try it. But. I'm just gonna get my cauliflower roasted with my sweet potatoes because these are the things that are gonna take the longest to cook today. If any of you happen to make any of these recipes too, make sure to take a picture and tag me on your Instagram stories. I would love to see what you're doing. I always like seeing when you guys add your own twist to it too, so that's always fun. But yeah, make sure to tag me over on Instagram. I will have my handle listed down below. Anyways, next I'm moving on to my cucumber salad. So I have fresh cucumber, tomato, This mozzarella cheese from Trader Joe's it's like seasoned already and this balsamic glaze from Trader Joe's oh my gosh this stuff is so good I'm a huge balsamic fan but first things first I am just going to chop up all of my cucumber this is just kind of my own recipe by the way next I'm gonna add the tomatoes and the mozzarella and then chop up some basil so I want to say this could be totally changed up depending on what you're wanting. You could add onion to this, you could add pasta to this um, to make this more of a pasta salad. There's a lot of different things you could do, um, even adding like a couscous or um, some kind of quinoa just to add like some more protein or something would be really good also. But I just kept it super simple today and just did the veggies, the cheese, and the fresh basil. I actually wanted to have some of this for lunch so I ended up cutting up an avocado to plate with my meal. If I was going to be serving this at like a friend's house or something like say I was making the salad to bring to a friend um, I would add the avocado to it now but because I'm going to keep this in the fridge and store it I'm not going to add avocado to it because the avocado will get gross so I'd rather just cut up an avocado and then plate my salad um, with it together and then top it with the balsamic glaze some salt and pepper and Voila, it's seriously so, so good and refreshing. The perfect summer meal. In the crowd, just stay with me and make it worth your Next, I'm moving on to my couscous. So I was trying to find a barley, but I couldn't find barley at Trader Joe's. So I ended up with this uh, couscous, which I've never used before. This was a, uh, what's it called? An, uh, I don't even know how you pronounce that. Um, but this is the kind of couscous that I got. I cooked it exactly like the box said, and um, I'm just gonna make that and set it aside. Checking on my sweet potatoes, my cauliflower, all that's still baking. Carrots are one of my go-to snacks throughout the week, so I always try to have carrots on hand. So I went ahead and got those peeled and then cut up. 
And next, while everything's still baking, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on these oatmeal balls. My mom actually made these for my daughter Scarlett when we were back visiting and she loved them and she's been wanting them so I thought I would make them for her. All you need is oats, peanut butter, honey, and then some kind of chocolate. We already had these M&Ms, so I'm just gonna put these in it. But this recipe is so simple and it takes no time at all. You don't have to bake anything. All you do is add three cups of oats. You're gonna add one cup of peanut butter and then about a half cup of honey and then just a handful of your chocolate. Next, you're just gonna want to roll everything out into little balls and just set it on some parchment paper so it doesn't stick. And then you're gonna wanna put it in the fridge for about an hour and then they should be set and you should be fine to store them. There's maybe two or three M&Ms in each little oatmeal ball, so they're really not um, all that bad at all. So these would make a great little snack, good breakfast option, something like that, but they're totally toddler friendly. Highly, highly recommend these if you have kids. I've always been a huge sweet potato fan. I eat them all the time. I eat at least one potato a day, um, but they're good, hot, cold. You can warm these up. You can just eat them cold, really however you wanna eat them. You can chop them up, add it to a salad. I just find so many uses out of sweet potatoes and they are so, so good for you. So I always like to have these prepped and ready to go for the week. Anyways, next I'm going to be roasting some cashews. I'm just adding a little bit of olive oil and some salt. I meant to buy roasted salted cashews, but I just bought raw unsalted cashews, which is not a big deal. I'm just gonna throw them in the oven. Next, I'm gonna be making the dressing for my cauliflower bowls. So all you're gonna need is olive oil, honey, Dijon mustard, some white vinegar, and some ginger. Again, this recipe will be linked down below. compare thee when no one ever ever could come close look around but i can't see that is usually just how it goes brought a new horizon opened up our doors to something more spun me round and you shook me got me tainted to the core so tell me once my dressing's all mixed together, I'm just gonna set that aside and save it for later and move on to opening up and rinsing off my garbanzo beans. For the longest time, I've been trying to find someone like you, but I keep crashing back. After everything is finally cooked, I went ahead and started putting together my uh, cauliflower bowls. So this was the couscous. I actually let it sit a little too long before um, I broke it apart, but that's okay. So it turned out really, really delicious and fluffy once I used a fork. Anyways, I'm just gonna add the couscous to a dish, and then on top of that, I'm going to add the rinsed off garbanzo beans. I didn't cook them or anything, just straight out of the can. Um, and then next, I'm gonna top that with the cauliflower. Like I got your smile going on repeat You're the star of my movie But now it's done, still stuck in my seat And get it off these Then I'm going to take the dressing that I had made earlier and top that uh, with the dressing and then get that mixed up really good. So something else I want to say if you're making this, what I would recommend instead of um, adding your roasted cashews to it um, to start, you want to add these while you're eating it. So I put these aside, um, otherwise the cashews will get kind of like mushy and soggy and I really want that crunch factor when I'm eating this. So whenever I go to eat this, I'm just going to add my cashews separately, but oh my gosh, this is seriously so delicious. I highly, highly, highly recommend this recipe. You guys will love this. This recipe is 100% vegetarian. You could easily add some meat if you would like, but um, for my vegetarian friends out there, definitely make this, it's delicious. Um, also, this is a salad that can be eaten cold or hot. So really just depending on how you wanna eat it. 
The last thing I did was add about a cup of the cauliflower mixture to little self-serve containers, so I had those throughout the week to eat. Then I went ahead and grabbed my oatmeal balls out of the fridge and went ahead and stored them because they had set and they were ready to be stored. So I just put them in this little container from OXO. And now I'm moving on to my chocolate chia pudding. Oh my gosh, this stuff is delicious. I've made this before. So all you're going to need is um, two tablespoons of chia seeds per, uh, per pudding. And then you're going to want to add a tablespoon of cacao powder. Um, about a tablespoon of syrup. This is going to add some sweetness to your pudding. Next, you're going to want to add your milk base. I prefer oat milk or almond milk, and today I'm using oat milk, so you just want to do a cup of that. And I do have a recipe for this um, as well. I'll leave a link to it down below. Um, and then you're going to want to add just a little bit of vanilla. I was actually out of it, so I would say like a teaspoon or like half a teaspoon, I think, of um, vanilla, but I really ended up using like a fourth of a teaspoon because I need to get more. Um, anyways, just put your lids on your mason jar, shake it up, and then you're going to want to store it in your fridge for at least like two hours, I'd say. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. Talking to you. Here we go again. This is what it looks like when it's all set. And oh my gosh, it's so good. So I like to top mine with this peanut butter granola from Trader Joe's, with some organic coconut flakes and some fresh fruit, whether it's bananas or strawberries or blueberries, just whatever I have on hand. But this is the best snack. Um, you could have this for breakfast, you could have this for dessert, a snack, whatever. Um, it's just delicious and it definitely satisfies a sweet craving if you're having one and it's definitely a healthy choice. Anyways, that is everything that I have to prep for the week. I am so happy with how all of my recipes turned out. Everything was so good. I really hope you guys try some of these um, recipes that I shared. And again, if you do, make sure to tag me over on Instagram. Okay, I'm all done with my food prepping. Everything is right back here. I need to put it all away, but Thank you guys for coming along with me during this day of my weekly food prep. I'm on week four of doing this. If you are trying to be mindful of the foods that you put in your body and to live a healthy lifestyle and up your veggie and uh, fruit intake and just overall make healthier choices, I highly recommend making this a priority, doing your food prep one day a week and just having it ready to go for the week. Whenever you have easy accessible food that is not only healthy but delicious, it makes it way easier to eat healthy and make better healthier choices for your body. So this has just been a game changer for my health goals personally and I know it would be for you guys too. So anyways, if you guys did like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, I would love to have you stick around and subscribe. I love making videos like this, but I also like to include um, my meals and random healthy foods in my daily vlogs that I do and I do a lot of day in the life vlogs. So make sure to hit that red subscribe button. You can go follow me on Instagram too. I post a lot of stuff over on Instagram and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.